Hi everyone, my name is Roger. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, uh, the name of the channel is Roger's Wells and Adventures. And uh, you'll see some funny video and some ser serious videos. Today, it's a serious video, but that doesn't mean we can't have a laugh, does it, Frankie? Uh, we can't have a laugh, we can have a laugh. Okay, so today we are going to speak about vision. What, what is vision? Some people are, oh, vision, oh, I don't believe in all that. Well, personally I do, because when I came to this country, let me give you a, a sort of quick definition of it. When I came to this country in 1991, before that I was working in the Loire Valley in France in a bank, and I wanted to go abroad. Either it was in a Spanish speaking country like Spain or the UK for the English speaking country, a world. Okay, uh, at, so I am, uh, my man was in two worlds as it were. So is it to be Spain or is it going to be the UK? As it happens, it, it, it is the UK. And why was that? It's because at the time in 1991, unemployment was so high in Spain, I think or around 24, 25% that they wouldn't accept anyone more than three months in their country. So you, so that means if I wanted to stay longer, I'd have to go in and out, in and out. So that was not really a feasible plan for me. So I decided to come to this country. And then I ended up in Lancaster first, whereas I was, I was married to Gwen for 23 years. Unfortunately, she passed away um, in, in February this year. And now uh, I am here. And but what I'm trying to say here, I had a clear vision of what I wanted to do. I didn't want to spend the rest of my life in the banking sector. And yes, I would have had a good pension now because I know some of my friends have got a good pension. They started at the same time as me or a bit before me. They have a good pension. They can live on it. No problem. And the pension I am going to get from France is not too bad, uh, considering the number of time I've been working there. Okay. But I know I would have been bitter if I had not tried to do something for myself. So I had a vision. So when I live in my flat, because I had that vision, I wanted to go to, to the UK somewhere. I started to rent out um, a room because I had two bedroom flats, a room, a bedroom to students, English speaking students, because we have a university in the Loire Valley, Angers, Angers Loire Valley, sorry. Uh, a Catholic university, and they have students from all over the world, ranging from English speaking students to Japanese students wanting to learn French. And so they, we had a lot of, they have students from all over the world. So I, I started to have English speaking students with me, including Americans. And at some point I had an, uh, a guy called Simon from uh, Morecambe, and with a cut of zero short, I asked him if he knew somebody I could work for in the UK. He said, yes, you can work for, I know someone, even Smacky area in Lancaster. I checked a couple of months ago, they're still in business. And I worked for them for six months and one week. So, and I met them in Paris at the time. So it works because I had a clear goal. I just wanted to come to the UK uh, because that's the choice I made. And I have not regretted that choice ever since. Okay, Frankie, for you, what does it mean, vision, to you? Thanks for sharing that with, with us, Roger, about vision. I found it was very clear. I, I was enjoying that, actually, Roger, yeah? Mm -hmm. I've been a little bit of a trance, ain't he? <laughs> but, yeah, um, thanks for sharing it about vision. Um, vision is really important, isn't, isn't it? I think um, I've had a vision since being a young kid that um, I've always wanted to be my own boss. And my dad had his own business, had his own car business. Oh, yeah, the cabin business, your dad. Had no, car I, business, and the car business, and the taxi business. Right. So how long, so, how long did he have it for? Pardon? He had it, my dad had his car business, I would say, for about 25 to 30 years, I'd say, yeah. yeah. Oh, 45? 25 to 30 years, he said. Oh, yeah. 25 to 30 years, he had the business. Okay, yeah. And then, um, you know, he was very successful, he was very good at it, you know, that his taxi business. And, you know, um, I kind of rubbed off on my dad, you know, um, even though at a young age you didn't see that. But I think sometimes as you get older, you start to see your vision a lot more. So for me, I mean, I always had a vision of being this great person in society. And um, I feel now that um, I'm getting to that vision. Yeah. I'm getting to that vision, Roger. So it's took me oh. a long time to to find yes. out really my life what I want to be. And I think that's what the beauty is of what we, of, 
of who we are. Mm -hmm. It's about exploring ourselves. It's about delving deep. It's about really getting to know ourselves and really getting to understand who we are as people. Because you can have a vision, but if you're not living up to that vision, Rosie, it's a dream. And yeah. as young, when we're young, we have dreams, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, in order, we're turning them dreams into a vision. Yeah, yeah. And then, no, and that's then, what I've done now. My vision is but to you know make what, a difference in society yeah. and to be a leader. Yeah, absolutely. But I think we, we have to have vision these days, even more so than before, because jobs are becoming so rare. I was just reading an article today, and it's a couple, they own an hotel somewhere, where they said, well, somewhere in, in the country, and they're actually okay, they are doing right, and they need a new re receptionist for the hotel. And they said this, usually when we uh, put an, um, an advert for a job like that, we usually get about 30 to 40 applications, right? It, it could, so, wow. right. But usually, for, for one job, 30 to 40 applications. Guess how many they actually received and very quickly in this, very quickly in the first, maybe the first week or less than that. Guess how many responses they had for that advert? A lot. A lot, yeah. A lot. Hundreds, yeah, yeah. A thousand. Wow. A thousand, yeah, a thousand applicants. And some of them are quite high flyer people in their previous job or and stuff like that. Professionals thousand, yeah, yeah, so one person is going to get that job. One, obviously, because they, they need one receptionist. And then they couldn't believe that. She felt actually sorry for the people who actually are applying because, because she said it's so, it's so sad to see so many people only in the genre, a thousand. And as I said, and some of them are like, um, I don't know, they've been managers before, you know, and stuff like that. And then, so yeah, she was quite taken aback really. So obviously she's on the right side, if I can put it, because they are the people who put the advert, uh, the advert in the paper or on the net, I don't know. And um, in the, but that's what John Haynes says uh, all along. It's going to be so competitive sooner or later. It's already big, very competitive, yeah. So uh, anyway, so I think we have to have a vision because the, the, the world is changing so fast. And um, it was changing very fast even before the pandemic, but now it's even faster. It's going even faster. It feels like the whole world's for sale, doesn't it, Roger? Everything's yeah. for sale, you know? Yeah, so we need, we need to, um, like for example, I just had an order I sent through for uh, my own uh, online uh, business. I'm selling products. Uh, you'll see the link below. That's for people in the UK and uh, um, Southern Ireland. Yeah, you'll see the, uh, the link in the, in the description. But I've not been very active in it. Uh, so I'm thinking, hang on a minute, if that person, I'm not going to give uh, his name because he, probably, he may not want to. So that person who, who got the products from me, think they are very, very good quality, which is fantastic because that's a repeat customer. So I'm, I phoned the people I'm working with, my business partners, and, uh, and I said, hang on a minute, Roger, when you go back from France, because I've got to go to France for family reasons, and uh, obviously I want to go to France. It's a long time since I went, but um, I've got to take it seriously now, this, uh, amongst all the other projects I've been, I am involved with, yeah? Because if I can have a repeat customer, one of the first person I got to know in the UK when I came in 1991, will you believe it or not? It was one of the few, one of the first people I got to know in the United Kingdom around 95 or before, yeah, 1995. So we stayed friends. We, we lost touch and it's through social media, through Facebook, we got in touch again. Anyway, that's to cut a long story short. So I need to have a vision for that because then if there is a thousand people applying for one job, I could have been one of those thousands. I could have been one of those people when you, when you think about it. Yeah. So I think, I think as well, Roger, even though you're very successful and we are, I think it's a clear vision as well that we have a vision to help as many people as we can to be successful or to succeed. Yeah. To help them as well, to be successful. Yeah. As, as well. well. Yeah. Very important. 
yeah absolutely i think so uh, yeah absolutely so because i know the products are very good quality so i buy pay him okay and he's already sent me the payment to uh, via paypal okay which is fantastic and then uh, the other has gone through to his house okay so now i realize hang on a minute this guy want that they, there must be other people out there who do yeah because they run out uh, uh, quickly about one of the products he wants about the cell remover but the cell remover is so great that it's it'll be back in store that's why i gave him a ring and then anyway it's gone through but what i'm trying to say uh, just personally I, I need to have that vision for that business right, to treat it as a job i am lucky enough to be in it to treat it as a job because that can bring me a an immediate income and if it's 50 quid a week and we pound a week 200 pound a week doesn't matter an income is an income yeah and then uh so I need to, uh, to develop that vision. And then we can, as you just mentioned, we can also help people to develop their own vision for their life. Because I think these days we need to, co to collaborate. It's That's by, right. Yeah. yeah, we need to collaborate. To collaborate. I think, yeah, I think we need to create a unity between people. Yeah, well, that's what the vision is, the vision for the better world, isn't it, Roger? Yeah. The yeah, vision for a better world for everybody to live in. Yeah, absolutely. No person it's the island, Danny. No yeah, person is the island, and we all need each other. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we, yeah, we all need each other. And a lot of people, in my opinion, are too many people are working against each other. Too many. And... Um, but that's the kind of country what we live in, I assume. Isn't it? That's the kind of world what's been created, a dog yeah. eat dog. So yeah. our vision, Jose, yeah. is to transform that into something we, we, positive yeah. and something yeah. different. But a lot of people, uh, I'm, I'm mentioning Maya Dorota Kopanowski on that one because she's, uh, she's organizing um, uh, network um, events every, every week via Zoom. And then obviously sooner or later we'll be able to meet in person, which, which is going to be fantastic. So she's done that and she's uh, encouraging people to actually work together because that's the only way, in my opinion, we are going to succeed properly. Not for success sake, but to be able to look at ourselves, to leave a legacy, look at our family, you know, and also enjoy our life. What then? And look after uh, other people, as many yeah, people and as we can. And other people. What and a look after as many people as we can. Yeah. yeah. There is a great satisfaction also, in my opinion, to see, to see other people achieve what they want to achieve. Yeah, because if so everybody gets what they want, they yeah. will make sure you get what you want. Yeah, absolutely. And then... And that's very important. Yeah, and then uh, too many people, as I said just a bit earlier, too many people are working against each other. But, however, what I would say is that there are more and more people who realize now that working together is better. And it will take us further. Yeah. Exactly. And I think that's important. So guys out there, I would uh, uh, encourage you to have a vision. I'm going to put a link down there as well about uh, in the International Coaching Academy. Click on it. You can get great training at a, mm, uh, a discount price. Grab the chance while you can. I just have a look, just be curious. And, and then... Uh, I say yeah. something to Roger as well, yeah. And me and Roger, we have a, a great Membi site called Membi.com. I'm on there. So Membi is mem, double B-Y dot com, forward slash Frankie dash Kington. I've got loads of activities and skills and tactics for you if you want to make a difference in society. I know they're leading in you, they're leading everybody. If you want to make a difference in society, you can always plug into my website on Roger's at membet.com, Frankie Kington, or Roger Bertrand. So please visit us and have a look and subscribe. I would love to get to know you a little bit more. And let's create a vision for the future for our country and for the world. And at the same time, guys, if you like this type of videos and some funny videos, um, uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, which is Roger's World and Adventures. Okay, and uh, you'll see a funny video on my wonderful cat Arlo Queen. She's there having a rest. Yeah, she's a bum, she's a, a ball of energy, and then you'll also uh, be able to see some uh, some 
videos, a bit, uh, a bit more serious videos. You see a video I've done like on weekly routine, why is it the weekly routine, that kind of thing. And on my cooking, why my cooking is helping me with my good habits. Have a look on my channel, then you'll find out. Okay, guys, so subscribe and click on that little bell as well so you, so you get notified. So then at some point you get a funny video and then a serious video or a bit of both. Why not? Okay, guys, so don't forget, have a vision, have a clear vision. It's not always easy, but work on it. Clear goals for, for your life, even if the situation look desperate, yeah? Give yourself a chance. Okay, guys. Give yourself a clear vision for the future. Absolutely. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, I'm repeating myself. Never mind. Just subscribe to the, to the, to the channel. And bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Take care now, guys and girls. Bye-bye.